I don't like it down there. Whoa, look at them all. Oh, eyes. Oh, I've got eyes. Damn, this place is scary. So I'm going to go lights out as well. I think I just heard he stabbed. There's something out there. Scratch. Don't come in. Oh, God. I think that means we need to go in. We are underground as well. Pitch black darkness. If there's someone around me, can you come back towards my hand? Thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt tonight. We are investigating a historic and haunted place here in Tasmania, Australia, known as the Port Arthur Coal Mines. We've already been investigating this really cool area, which is the barracks. It's actually a bunch of convict cells. If you guys want to see that, make sure you go and watch my part one video, but this is part two, and we are on our way to perhaps the scariest part of this ruin, which is the solitary confinement cells. So stay tuned. These coal mines date back to the 1830s and were the first operational in Tasmania, Australia. They were a place of punishment, reserved for those deemed as being the worst of the worst convicts from the nearby Port Arthur Penitentiary. Having been a mix of poor living conditions, hard labour, torture and death, many claim the old mines are haunted. The area which would have been the most hell-like for those at the mines were its underground solitary confinement cells. Here, convicts would have endured prolonged amounts of time alone in complete darkness, with the scarcest of rations in order to survive. For this reason, it is thought to be quite haunted and will be the focus of tonight's paranormal investigation. All right, guys, I am so excited because we're heading towards the solitary cells. I just stopped in one of these cottages, though, because if you guys haven't done so already, you can see them very well in the part one because we visit during the day. But these places are just magnificent and they are beat up. But I feel like there could still be paranormal energy in these spaces. The reason why I am not investigating them is because the weather is kind of wild. It is super, super windy. We found a little nook that's kind of sheltered, but I also think a storm is rolling in. The sky just got very, very black with uh, clouds. So we're going to go to the solitary cells, which are actually underground, which makes them even more scary. But it also allows us to cut out wind and rain. God forbid it happens, but it probably will. Um, but we're going to head down there. I think if anywhere here is haunted, it's got to be that area. It's got to be those cells. Right, guys we've just made it to the solitary confinement cells damn this place is scary uh what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna go for a walk down there and down this aisle and then down the next where all of the cells are because i usually do this when i go to haunted places just to check that there ain't nobody in there like a living person <laughs> because that would just be downright scary. It was somewhere very remote. Uh, there's not a lot around, so I don't expect that there would be someone here, but you never know. So this one looks clear. Fire out, there's so many insects here as well, like mosquitoes, I'm talking. Whoa, look at them all. Mm. I don't know if the camera will pick them up, mm. but this is gonna be witch's yeah. pond to investigate. Um, okay. Alright, so guys, we are underground as well. If you like look up here, that's the ground level up there. And you can just imagine being closed in these cells down here, it would have been horrible. As far as punishments go, it would have been effective. Okay, clear. Well, there's a big spider here. Mosquitoes. 
All right, well now I know there's no people down there. That makes me feel a lot better about investigating. I don't mind ghosts. I mean, I don't really like mosquitoes, but I will just do it for you guys. <laughs> uh, so please thank us in the comments below. But I say we start investigating. All right guys, so the first thing I'm doing to investigate the solitary cells, because this might give us a better indication of which cells we should head to, is I'm just heading, is I've just set up a bunch of cat balls, these things. If they move physically, they will light up. And I've set one up here in front of this cell, but also one here, here. Oop, this is probably me setting them off as well, guys. And one here, and one down the bottom as well. Let's see, Oop. there we go. So they have to physically move to be set off. If there is anyone watching me and you see me playing with these bowls, they're really fun to play with and I highly encourage it. If any of you are in there and you're listening, do it. Snap on that one, I don't think that one's working. This one? No, the other one. Second one? Yeah, that one's working. Is it on? Yeah, it's working. Okay. Woo, it's a party! Alright guys, uh, we're just going to start reaching out and see if anything happens. My name's Amy and I'm reaching out to any of the convicts here in solitary confinement. I want you all to remove yourself from your cells immediately. Step outside from your cell. Guys, I also have a K2 meter in my hand, so I'm just gonna hold this. Okay, it just lit up. If there's someone around me, can you come back towards my hand? Thank you. If there's someone around me, can you come back towards my hand? Thank you. If you're listening to what I'm telling you, I've placed a few clear balls on the floor. Can you head towards one and touch it? That will make lights appear. Can you touch the ball that is directly out front of your cell? It's pretty cool that the K2 just lit up. How much did it light up? About three lights to the orange. Did it? Yeah. I don't know how... I don't know how good you guys can see this on the night vision camera, but hopefully it's picked up. So just a bit of background guys, where we're standing is the solitary confinement cells. I believe these were built in the early 1840s and they were pretty much used as a punishment here at the coal mine. So if you did something very wrong, you were put down here underground in a cell. There's no light, there's no interaction with other people. Obviously it is a very dark, terrible place to be. My name is Amy and I've come to visit anyone that's still stuck here in solitary confinement. I know that mustn't have been a very nice place to be. I just want to let you know that you can leave now. The doors to your cells are no longer. Your chains are no longer. Can you hear footsteps behind you? I think it's the trees. It's 
pretty spooky listening to all the trees. Yeah, it is. Crocky. If there was someone here before that came close to my hand, can you please come back? If you do want to communicate with us or talk, which we would love, can you please leave your cell and just touch one of the balls on the floor? I've placed one in front of each cell door. You just need to walk up to it and touch it. If you can move that ball, it will light up. It sounds like there's somebody out there. It does. That's kind of scary. Yeah, it is. I'm hoping it's an animal or something. It's not like a convict from the past. Oh, I'm just going to put my torch on and see what that is. I can't see anything out here. All right, let's go back into solitary confinement. Okie doke guys, so we've just left all these cat balls set up down here. They will trigger if um, they are touched and we're not gonna stay in this area. We are gonna go over to the next wing, I guess you could call it, over. And we're gonna do a little bit of investigation down there. But I just wanna leave these set up if there is anyone down here and you are listening to me, please do not be shy to leave your cell at any moment. On your way out, just kick that ball that's in the door in front of you. You can do it at any time. So I've actually got my other camera set up here and I'm just gonna hit record on this. This um, does not have night vision, so it will just pick up pitch black darkness this whole time but if any of those balls do go off it will see them because they will obviously light up so we're just going to walk over to the next side all right let me just test that it is on all good all right guys i'm just hitting record on a ghost tube session now uh this is actually <laughs> an app that my husband Jared and I developed ourselves so that's why we trust it and use it and I'm gonna walk no no okay I was just gonna say I'm gonna walk down here and I've been told no am I not allowed to walk down here do you not want me to so doctor do you need a doctor so my phone's actually uh, measuring the electromagnetic field around it, which some people believe uh, spirits can manipulate. And those readings are actually linked to a, to a database filled with words, and that is how it can select words. Uh, it should be noted that the magnetic uh, north fluctuates naturally, so definitely possible that uh, random words uh, could come up, but interesting so far now i know there's a cell here i cannot see inside it at all because it's completely pitch black but my magnetic reader is fluctuating right here so i'm just going to go in i'm hoping there's no spiders is there someone in here with me oh, 
Jesus. Okay, guys, my mum is my camera person. Normally, I have Jared, and can't see what I'm she's not used to walking around in the dark. Okay. So <laughs> Jesus. Okay. You need to let your eyes adjust. Oh God. Is there someone in this cell with us? Can you make a noise? Can you tap on something? Can you come close to my hand? I actually can't imagine spending a prolonged amount of time in here. This cell is so tiny and dank and I mean the bugs and mosquitoes about now, I don't know what they would have been like back then. I think they are biting as well, just um, to mm. make note of that. <laughs> right, let's keep walking down. Can you get out, Mum? <laughs> What's your hair for spiders also? Hang on, I'll have to put the light on for a minute because I can't see what I'm doing. I'll break my neck. Okay. You'll scare the ghosts away I'm though. Sorry. <laughs> If there are any ghosts on the other side of the uh, solitary confinement cells, I hope you're leaving your cells now. I hope you're walking out into that hallway and touching all those balls. Was that you that just made that noise? Yeah, that was me. Oh, okay. I'm good. <laughs> this is dangerous walking in the dark. Yeah, but you know that it's just flat ground, so you can just walk. <laughs> Jesus. Is there anyone down here? I'd love to talk to somebody. Can you make a noise or come close to my hand? something out there. Lady. This is freaky in here. Yes, I am a lady. My name's not Amanda though, my name is Amy. Can you say my name? There's something out there, Scratch. Don't come in. Oh God. I think that means we need to go in. Where, where? Why don't you want me to come in? Was this an unpleasant place? Is that why you don't want me in here? What were you doing in this cell just now? I'm gonna go in. I'm just gonna keep real low because I reckon there might be spiders here. You can stay there if you want. Yeah. Can you tell me who's in this cell, please? Why didn't you want me to come in here? I'm a friendly person. Natalie. Flames. Natalie Flames. That could be random, I'm not sure. I'd have to look into history really deep to find if there was anything relevant there. I think it was um, mostly men that were kept here, but there were definitely families that were kept here too. This was a place of work. It was 
a mine. It was a a work like a working convict station. So you can think of it almost as a jail, but the convicts and the prisoners were actually used to build a lot of uh, uh, resources that were used around Tasmania and even Australia. Coal being one of them. Alright, let's walk down the end. Watch your head. Yeah, I'm just scared there's going to be spiders in here. Is there anyone else around that wants to talk? Hey you, I really hope that you caught some balls lighting up. So mum, what do you think of this place? What did you just say to me before? Yeah, it's freaky. They don't like it because I can hear all the, everything moving out there. Yeah, what pitch, about the cells? Pitch black, I don't like it down there. Don't like it. Bit scary? Yeah, it's creepy, very creepy. Oh that was a bat. Did you see that? I think I actually caught that on camera. <laughs> it was a bat. Should we keep investigating? Yeah. Let's do I it. Guess we should. Light up my bowls. Please. And thank you. Alright guys, so I've just chosen a cell that I think is nice. <laughs> I mean, obviously it would be so horrible to be in here for a prolonged amount of time in the complete darkness. And I, I do feel for the people that were locked in here. A lot of the convicts that were sent here to Australia from um, uh, England weren't necessarily bad people. They were just poor and trying to make make their their way by you know a lot of them were were sent over here for stealing uh, food uh, I read a story yesterday about a nine-year-old boy who was uh, sent over here overseas from England for stealing toys he wasn't even stealing them for himself he was stealing them for an adult who had told him to do that and he was actually put into the boys prison yes there was a prison for boys so children basically here near Port Arthur. Uh, so not all of the people here were necessarily bad. Obviously there were a lot of murderers and rapists, but I think that the system was very flawed. Um, so a lot of the people that ended up here weren't necessarily bad people. Um, some of them definitely could have been, uh, but solitary confinement would have been a harsh harsh punishment so i'm just i've just picked a cell and i'm going to reach out here sit in here alone for uh, with myself for a bit and just see if anyone here wants to talk to me that would be lovely so i'm going to go lights out as well obviously so now we are night vision i'm sitting on the floor of this cell and there are spiders ants bugs you name it like everywhere here <laughs> so i'm hoping my butt doesn't get bitten or something um in front of me i have a cat ball and a k2 meter i also have my spirit box here so i think that i'm going to do a spirit box session reach out and see if we pick up any voices maybe someone wants to talk to me that would be amazing it's the front door to my cell though as you can see i've got a k2 meter lit up green at the moment and a cat ball out there if there is anybody here that wants to communicate with me and I'm sitting in your cell, maybe you've been here for a long, long time, I would love to talk to you or just to know that you're here, just to know I'm not alone. I've placed a, a ball just in front of the door of this cell. If you want to let me know that you're here, just head towards that ball and touch it. If you do that, it will light up. I've also got in front of that there's a device that has a green light on it. If you head towards that green light, you might be able to manipulate it and have more lights 
light up. They light all the way up to red. And if you could do that for me, that just shows me that you're here and that you do want to talk to me. And I would really appreciate that. If you could even make a noise, if you can scratch or tap the wall, just knock on something. That's another way that you can show me that you are here. Alright, so I'm going to get cracking on this spirit box, which I have set up here, my speaker. So I might just run that and then see and give it a listen. I'm going to start uh, a device up. This can be quite loud but it is something that might allow you to talk to me. If you do wish to talk to me, maybe you can manipulate this device. Tell me your name. Hi, my name is Amy. I've come to visit you in solitary confinement. Can you tell me your name, please? What did you do to be put into solitary confinement? How long did you spend in this cell? What was your crime? Oh, I just feel a really cold breeze come in. Is there someone here with me? Can you tell me what you did to be sent to Van Diemen's land? I think I just heard he stabbed. Did you hurt someone? Can you tell me, can you tell me what colour light is in front of me? What was it like at the coal mines? I think I just heard oh. How many hours a day did you work? Five. 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 Did you just say friends? Can you tell me a little bit about this place? Where am I sitting? I feel like I just heard in bed. I guess there would have been a bed in here.
could you tell me your name? Was it scary when you were left in here? I'm just going to go silent for a minute. Alright guys, so I definitely heard some voices come through the spirit box there. Some of those could have been relevant. Um, I mean, some of it could have just been interference. It it always could just be interference. But what is interesting is, um, if you guys haven't done so already, go watch my part one video. But I conducted a spirit box session in part one, which is in the same area, the same location, the coal mines. And I did not get a single word or, or or anything through like there was no interference at all and that was uh, across two different frequencies i tried and there was radio silence basically i'm not saying that that means it's ghost voices or anything but it does make it a little bit more interesting that so many voices came through while i was sitting in this cell what did you just hear no cat going off there which one Oh, eyes. Oh, I've got eyes. Get that. Look. See the eyes? Look. I can't see anything. I can see the eyes. Look, can't you see the eyes there? Look. Mm. I Look. can see them with my eyes, but not on the camera. Oh, not with the camera. There's something out there. Look, I reckon it's a, it's a kangaroo. It's, a it's scoping us out. It is. Mum's freaking out, because... Yeah, I am. I can hear so many noises out there. It's freaking me out. Because it's windy, it's like, the, it's like the hills have eyes or something, you know? It's <laughs> Keep thinking somebody. Someone's coming for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's awful. Yeah, I've seen things flying around and bloody things popping around in the bloody forest. That is scary as hell. Thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That'll really, really helps me out. If you want to do a little bit more reading on the historic coal mines here in Tasmania or any other haunted places I've visited before, then head to my website, amyscrypt.com. You guys can also keep up with what I'm doing at Amy's Crypt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.